Hi there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a map like this, a geo map which shows you your territory or your state or city information as per the details you have in your data set. So mostly all of the reporting solution or all of the reporting data sets contains one or the other field which is related to the geography because whatever sales or whatever business you are doing has to be done within some sort of a geographical location and geo maps are an interesting chart which helps you visualize the information with the help of the maps and uh, that is very interactive by which you can clearly see by looking at the geography and based on the color like this one so Ontario is the highest sales one followed by British Columbia and so on and so forth so this gives us a bird eye view within few minutes or few seconds you can just let you can get to know how your sales are doing so how we can create this chart i will show you in this video as well as uh, uh, this is also interactive so for example if i select any of the territory over here you have northwest territories you see that all your values will be changed accordingly so if i select uh, like yukon over here then your all the different charts will be updated accordingly so sometimes map is also used as a central part let's say for example you are creating a canada specific dashboard or maybe to a general manager of a canada who needs to take care of the sales and based on the location the person is clicking you will have your rest of the kpis and metrics changed accordingly so let's go ahead and see how we can create this within the data studio all right so what i'll do is i will just remove this chart from here and to create it i need to go into the add a chart section and over here we have uh, two different options we have geo maps and uh, we have google maps so geo map uh, you can think geo map as a filled maps as the location is filled with a color whereas on the geo google maps you will have sort of a circles or the bubbles which is displayed on top of the geography or the territory which you can change it based on some sort of a parameter for example if the sales is high then the bubble size will be large similarly here it is shown with the help of the color that means if the color is dark the highest the higher value so let's go ahead and create the geo map over here and drop it over here so once you drop it what you get is basically with the default values like uh, what is the data range date range over here so entire date has been considered but you can restrict it then you have the geo dimension so by default we have only one dimension which is province categorized as geo so it's been by default selected and by default you have the sum as the metric now the problem is that if i go into the front end it will not show me anything i mean it will show me this yukon but uh, this is first of all a map of united states however the values we have for the territories is in the canada so let's see how we can fix this so to fix this let's first select the chart and then come down over here you have the zoom area you need to click over here on the zoom area and in search for Canada so that means you can make your geo map specific to a country location like a Canada over here so that your map will show you the right information also this will be helpful in zooming the area for a specific uh, location so for example one location may be United States for United States specific dashboard one may be canada another may be let's say uh, for france or united kingdom based on how many geographies you have you can just replicate that so now it's it's there we can go into the view mode and it will start showing us the information about it now there are a lot of other things that uh, you can do with this and uh, for that let me go into the front end so like the example which i showed you that uh, you can make it filterable and that's a very straightforward like coming over here in the interactions you have the option of applying a filter so you if you check that and again go into the view mode you can now select this and all these different charts will be updated accordingly so this way you can make your chart interactive 
as well as informative for your dashboards. After do doing these configurations, you also have some other options like, uh, you know, having the date ranges, which is mentioned over here. If I just select this, you have the uh, property where you can have the date range, you can filter it and then some of the style properties which you can set according to your needs.